शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा जगत व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयताम जाड्यांधाकारापस्ते स्फाटिमालिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्यां कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत लास्ट टाइम सम ट्रबल विथ द क्लास आई गॉट डिस्कनेक्टेड सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट विथ दि फर्स्ट सूत्र इन दि अच्छी प्रकरण अथा अच्छी नाउ अच्छी अच्छी संधि बिटवीन वॉवेल्स when there is a close proximity in pronunciation and that sandhi is what less than half a matra of pronunciation because hal takes half a matra to pronounce raswa takes one one matra dirgha takes two matras and kluta takes three matras but hal takes half a matra and when there is a sandhi at sandhi any pronunciation where there is less than half a matra of delay time between two letters that is a sandhi and at sandhi is when such a sandhi occurs between vowels eko yanachi is the first sutra in this at sandhi prakaranam eko yanachi there are three padas in ikaha yan achi you see it is in the sixth uh, sixth chapter first pada and 77 sutra here in this section this is the first sandhi sutra and this is a basic rule achi achi parataha when the seventh case indicates what follows that will come in the next sutra achi parataha when ach follows ikaha ikaha is shashti ek vachana shashti ek vachana which ikaha is a pratyahara ik shashti of ik which is a pratyahara which includes e u r and r uh, a e un rail rik so a e un e that e un this ukara is from this e a e un rail r are from the Next, next sutra, real rik. So that is, these are four letters, and yan is also pratyara, which is ya, yakara, vakara, re, fa, and lakara. Achi parata when ach follows, immediately follows, not with a, not with vyavahita sammanda, avyavahita, which is not sandwiched with any other letter. When a vowel follows ik. any of the letters when any vowel follows this is a utsarga there will, there can be an apavada utsarga is a general rule and there can be an apavada there can be an exception or another rule which will supersede and which may follow but this is a general rule whenever ik is followed by ach that time yan will be the adesha adesha is a this is a rule which is ordaining a substitute yan is a substitute ikah sthane so sthane there is a सूत्र षष्टी स्थाने योग सो दर इज सूत्र विशेष षष्टी षष्टी स्थाने योग सो दी षष्टी वेन एवर यू हेव षष्टी देन स्थाने स्थान हेज टू बी जॉइन देर स्थाने दिस वर्ड स्थाने विल हेव योग देर दिस इज स्थाने स्थाने हेज कम फ्रॉम षष्टी स्थाने योग वाय षष्टी इक है षष्टी एंड when ikaha shashti is used in the sutra then there is a yoga of sthana sthane 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 is to be added there to understand the meaning there so ikah sthane why do you get ikah sthane because ikaha is in shashti and by this sutra shashti sthane yoga you get this you can add the sthane word and make sense out of it in the place of so ikaha in the place of this will mean of ik of ik yan has no meaning unless you know this paribhasha sutra which is sthane shakti sthane yoga this sthane is brought in from that sutra and we say what in the place of six case that is how uh, ikaha becomes a sthane sthana asya asti iti sthane sthana is that which has a place place in the sutra which will take the adesha that is the place of ik and therefore ikaha sthane shakti ante pade so that pada which is shakti anta in that and that is indicating what ikara ukara rukara rukara so in the place of ikara sthane e sthane u sthane ru sthane ru sthane va yan adesha bhavati yan is what yakara adesha vakara adesha refa adesha lakara adesha va bhavati va is in 
I am saying why as in one among these four. Why is not optionally. Yakara, Vakara, Refa, Lakara, one, of, one out of these four will be in Adesha for Ikara, Ukara, Rukara, Rukara. Which is the Adesha we will see in the next Sutra. So, Ikasthane, Yan, Syad, Pachi, Samvitayam, Vishay. Samvitayam, Vishay. Samvita, Samvita is what? When there is close proximity. Samvitayam, Vishay, Vishay, Saptami. In this subject matter, in the, in the area when there is a Samvita, in that association, in that matter, what will happen? Achi Samitayam Vishaye Yana Desha Syat. When when Ach follows, immediately follows. Samitayam Vishay tells you what? Immediately follows. When there is a close proximity in pronunciation without being sandwiched by anything, and when there is no delay of more than half a matra, that time what will happen? Yan is the Adesha for ik. And an example is given here, Sudhi Upasya it is dite. Now this is a Sudhi Upasya Itistite is a Samasa. Sudhi, Sudhi Shuftudhi. Shuftudhi is Sudhi and Upasya. Upasya, this is making a Samasa. So Sudhi Upasya Itistite, Itistite means when you are deriving. This Sudhi Upasya Iti is the derivation. Itistite, when you have reached that point, Itistite, when you have reached that point, then this Sutra is applicable. So if you look at the example, Sudhi Upasya, Sudhi, Sudhi is what? Dhi is Buddhi. Dhi is Buddhi, it is Trilinga and Su. Su is Shuftu. Shuftu or Shobhanadhi. You can say Shuftu. Shuftu. Shuftu or Shobhana. Shobhana because Trilinga. Ah, Shobhana. Shobhanadhi is what? Sudhi. This is the meaning of Sudhi. And Tritya of that, with that Sudhi, Sudhi, with that Shobhanadi, Upasya. So let's say Devata, Devata or let's say Guru or Ishwara. Let's say Ishwara is Upasya. I'm making a Samasa to say what? Let's say Ishwara, Upasya. He is Upasya. Ishwara is Upasya. How? Sudhi, Sudhya Upasya. Who is Upasya through Sudhi? With with a sushtudhi, with a good buddhi, with a clean shobhanadhi, Ishwara is upasya. Ishwara should be worshipped or meditated upon. If that is the sentence, in that I want to create this sudhi upasya as a samasa, then what will happen? So I, I just uh, made this sentence to explain what sudhi upasya is. And thereby sudhi upasya, I am bringing it together in the samasa, making a samasa. So there is a Sudhi and Upasya, I cannot write separately. It is only to explain it has been written separately. It, there is actually a dash here. It is being derived. It is a single word. And therefore, this is a Samhita. Samhita Vishay. Sudhi and Upasya, between that, there is less than half a matra of pronunciation. So there is some Sambandha between Sudhi and Upasya. And there, here it is a Tritiya Sambandha. Tritiya Tatpurusha, Sudhi, Upasya. And when you are deriving that, what will you get? Sudhi is Sudh. There is Sudh here and there is Ikara. And you have here Upasya, Ukara and Pasya. Now between this and this, there is a, there is a Sandhi. Ikara and Ukara. Ikara is, is, is part of E. It is part of E. While Ukara is Ukara is what? An ach. So achi parata is satisfied. But whether it is, how do we know it is an ik? There is only raswa ikara. E and this we have seen earlier, the reason ikara is also included in ikara is because ikara represents all its 18 varieties. Raswa, dirga, plutaha with all uh, swaras and uh, anunasika, ananunasika, bheda. So all 18 are included in this. So, Ikara is a part of Ik. And when Achi Parataha, when Ach is following, when a vowel follows Ukara here, then what is the Adesha? An is, Yan is the Adesha. For what? For, for what is the Adesha now? So, here you see Ikahastane. Ikahastane Yan Syad. So, in the place of E, there is Yan Adesha. Not in the place of U, not in the place of both, only in the place of E. 
in the place of e you have adesha which which is the adeshan of yan whether i should replace by yakara vakara rep or lakara here the next couple of sutras will tell that so we'll stop here uh, with this sutra and we'll derive further when we learn this tasminiti nirdishte purvasya achi when ach follows how did we get the meaning as achi parataha achi parata is tasminiti nirdishte purvasya tasmin and this i had mentioned uh, last time tasmin tasmin is a quotation tasmin iti iti is a quotation tasmin niti when in the seventh case some adesha is given tasmin is what saptami of tad tad is a pronoun pronoun to what whichever word is in the sutra so here you have ach ach is tat this ach here this ach here achi where you get achi this ach is tat and tasmin is what achi achi iti nirdishte so tasmin iti nirdishte is equal to achi nirdishte achi it has the nirdesha is ach i'm <coughs> sorry ach achi so tasmin iti nirdishte purvasya the adesha is purvasya this is a paribhashika sutra which is helping us interpret the other sutras like ikoyanachi purvasya adesha bhavati earlier whatever is earlier to tasmin iti nirdishte that pada achi whatever is shown by achi achi is showing a vowel when an ach follows that time purvasya adesha bhavati so here saptami nirdeshena vidhiyamanam karyam varnantarena avyavahitasya purvasya bodhyam it has to be understood as what that which is avyavahita not separated not separated purvasya immediately preceding for it it has to be understood that adesha has to be understood saptami nirdeshena vidhiyamanam karyam whichever karya whichever act whichever action is ordained vidhiyamanam ordained with a saptami nirdesha shown by a saptami that will be what and varnantarena avyavetasya purvasya it will be for the purvasya for the earlier which is immediately earlier a letter which is immediately preceding that and then there is tasmat iti uttarasya also there is a, another sutra which say panchami nirdishte if there is a fifth case showing then it, the adesha is for the parasya whatever is following immediately following the panchami to that is the uh, rule ordained karya vidhyamanam karyam is varnantarena avyavahitasya parasya bodhyam it will be for the next next uh, following immediately following uh, sthana sthani that will be the sthani and i had uh, mentioned last time that prathama is a vidhi whatever is in prathama vibhakti is a vidhi what you see in panchami panchami what parasya parasya avyavetasya parasya bodhyam what is said in prathama uh, here is yan in equivalency it is yan it is prathama tritiya tritiya we see panchami panchami parasya bodhyam like achaha achaha if you see achaha is panchami so acha is panchami after the uh, parasya bodhyam after an ach after a vowel shashti shashti is what shashti sthane yoga sthane yoga it is it is a sthani which will take an adesha so when prathama vidhi yan is given then it is applicable for that it is a sthani shashti is sthani sthane yoga so it is a sthani shashti sthani for example ikaha ikaha is shashti ek vachana ikha sthane ikha sthane yan adesha bhavati what is saptami tasminiti nirdishte purvasya so purvasya is purvasya bodhyam avyavetasya all are avyavetasya purvasya bodhyam it should be seen as so saptami here is achi achi is saptami when an ach follows that time that letter which is immediately preceding that will get the adesha that becomes the sthani now by by these two sutras i know ekoyanchi mean ekasthane yan yan syad yan adesha syad samvita vishe when there is a samvita then sudhi upasya in ekara the sudhi upasya this ekara should take yan adesha when ach follows where o is following so which should be the adesha now so for that the next sutra says sthane antartamah sthane antartamah is the next sutra second sthane antartamah is the next sutra 
स्थाने अंतरतम स्थाने अंतर स्थाने स्थाने अंतरतम अंतरतम तम इज तम इज प्रत्यय तम प्रत्यय तम तम मीन विच इज क्लोजर इट इज अ कंपेरेटिव डिग्री सो स्थाने वॉट एवर इज स्थान स्थान अस्ति स्थानी एंड इन दट विच शुड बी ददेश सो लेट से एक स्थाने एक स्थाने कदेश यण आदेश यण मध्ये कदेश यण इज प्रत्यार यण इज यकार यवरल सो यवरल अमाऊ देम कदेश विच इज अंतरतम विच इज अंतर अंतर इज इन स्थान एंड प्रयत्न इट शुड बी सिमिलर इफ यू हॅव मोर देन वन लेट से दर इज अ सिनारिओ वेअर एन आदेश हॅज हॅज सम लेटर्स which are having similar closeness to sthani in that case what do you do so if if both are quite similar both have proximity then whichever is closest so uh, tarap and tamap pratyad tamap is superlative not comparative so it is superlative tarap tamap tarap is antara tarah is uh, which is comparative antara tamah is which is the closest closest proximity in sthana and prayatna that should be the chosen adesha so in yan whichever is closer to ik that should be the adesha and ik is what here in sudhi upasya iti jate sudhi upasya iti sthite we had seen ikara between ikara and ukara uh, now whichever the comparison should be with yan so sudhi upasya uh, which should be replaced here if you see not here let's say between ikara and ukara and ikara ikara and yan ukara and yan so both should be compared ukara hai yan which is the closest so e is what which which is the sthana for e which is the sthana for u and which is the sthana for y v r l and l or this can be compared and you see which is the adesha you get here from the sthane antaratamah you decide which is the adesha so prasange sati what is sthane sthane antaratamah prasange sati sadrusha tamah sadrusha sadrusha tamah sadrusha tamah adesha syat which should be the adesha adesha is what sadrusha tamah so antara antara here means sadrusha antaratamah is antara is equal to sadrusha tamah that is the idea here he is replaced with antaratamah with sadrusha tamah so antara stands for sadrusha which is which is similar and most similar tamah says which is most similar prasange sati and prasange sati is what aneka desha prasange sati when there is a prasanga situation what kind of situation when aneka desha is there uh, yan is the adesha yan is not a single letter yan is y v r e f and lakara yakara vakara r e f and lakara when aneka adesha prasange sati when such a situation arises that time which is the most similar that will become the adesha most similar to what to the sthani whichever is the sthani to that whichever is the uh, uh, adesha which is is the uh, most proximate and here i explained that ikara and ukara how ukara is not a sthani so uh, my mistake i should not say ukara also because sthani is ikara in some cases when purva parayo ho when there is a purva para sandhi that time you have to see sadrusha tamah for ikara ukara both not ikara ukara whichever is the letter there in purva para sandhi here this is what e so adesha is for both there can be an single adesha for both ek adesha that time you have to compare with ikara also and ukara also which have, if there is a ek adesha but here the adesha is for the sthani and sthani is one not two sthani is not purva and para sthani is only purva here ikara only ik is the sthani therefore you compare with e so you see uh, sthane antaratamah and ishu yasha nam cc ichu yasha nam talu talu and e is what we are looking at e is the sthani ik and y you see y here y is what e and y you see in the same uh, sutra ichu yasha nam talu so both have talu as the sthana thereby yakara is the adesha for ika because yakara is the sadrushatamah it is sadrushatamah to ikara which is ik here adesha says so yan 
in yand yakara will be the adesha sya so sudhi upasya in that sudhi upasya ti jate how did you get sudhi upasya became sudhi upasya because ekara and ekara closest is ekara will be replaced by yakara so e is replaced by here you get sudhi upasya will be replaced by what in the example sudhi upasya will become sud sud yakara sudhya upasya this is the example here upasya and it is still being derived derivation is not over ekara will get a this adesha by what by ekoyanchi by ekoyanchi iko yanachi and not only iko yanachi also this sthane antartamah with sthane antartamah is sthane antartamah helps you interpret uh, iko yanachi so this sutras which follow in iko yanachi although iko yanachi is applying we understand iko yanachi through tasminiti nirdishte purvasya and through the next sutra which is sthane antartamah we know yan in the yan yakara is the adesha so iko yanachi due to eco and chi and the other sutras that we saw you get sudhi upasya although although eco and chi is the vidhi sutra we understand what what among yand is the adesha through sthanantaratamaha and we understand achi pare achi pare we understand through tasminiti nirdishte purvasya so you get yakara as adesha when sudhi upasya have a samhita so sudhi upasya iti jate when this is born when this this step is born sudhya yakara is an adesha already given and when that happens what happens then after that another sutra is applicable which is anachicha next sutra is anachicha what does this sutra says so he is saying in the order in the derivation what is the next one which is invoked which sutra is applicable now he says when you have are placed in this kind of a scenario sudhya pasya you have derived this sudhya pasya and at that step anachicha anachicha what happens this sutra na ach anach so you see anachicha anachi is what seventh case singular and cha is an avyaya this is a sutra in the eighth chapter fourth pada 47 towards the end of the adhyay uh, atadhyay anachicha here the na ach anach that which is not ach that which is not a vowel na ach anach na ach anach and tasmin saptami tasmin anachi that is the seventh case of anach so when and this we have seen tasminiti nirdishte purvasya when an when an anach follows what is the meaning of when an anach follows when a when a anach is a non vowel so when a non vowel follows why did he say non vowel why did is is non vowel a consonant may or may not be here it it is it is not saying hali ch hal would be a consonant anach is not an ach not an ach we should not interpret further than that what else can it be so people may ask oh, anach means it has to be a consonant no need not necessarily be it can be an avasana also it can be a pause also it can be a full stop it can be a comma anything but there is no vowel following that is the idea when a vowel does not follow what follows is not being said here so the the uh, question is not what follows what is the pradhana there there is pratisheda being done we see the pratisheda in this sutra itself what follows is being said or what should not follow is being said so there are two two things here when you say anachi that time a is nanj nanj tat purusha anach when anvaya of nanj is with what with ach it is with a word it is with with a noun and it is not with a with a uh, verb it is not with a tinganta pada ach ach in uh, ach pratya is not following is not being said it is being said anach is following anachicha so uh, there is a vidhi pradhanyam and nisheda pradhanyam we'll see what that means but 
if he had meant hal he would have said hali why did he say anachi there is a reason he did not say hali hali would have been shorter if he meant a consonant uh, that when a consonant follows then he would have said hali panini mars would have said hali and thereby saved a letter or two but he said anachi by spending more letters because he wanted to say and ach should not follow what should follow is not being said what should not follow has been said pratisheda is being done not a vidhi so here you will see two types of uh, pratisheda uh, before that the sutra vritti says what acha parasya yaro dvesh vastah natu achi all these letters have come from the anuvritti acha parasya yaraha dve vastah it's a vibhasha so there is a va va word it's an optional vidhi anachi cha what happens yaraha dve yaraha achah parasya yaraha dve vastah there is a dvitvam being said dvitvam is being a, is a rule which is an optional rule dvitvam as in uh, one letter should become two which is that letter yara yar letter yar letter should become two achah parasya so you, what is what is the situation you have ach you have ach here which is a vowel then which is followed by what ach then there is a parasya yar so there is a yar letter yar letter is a yar is a pratyahara however rat land and so on till shashasar so when yar is a uh, letter follow follows letter letter which follows ach which follows a vowel then yaraha dvesh yar this yar will become whichever this yar is it will be a duplication into two it will become into two yaraha dvesh vasta vibhasha as a, so what is the other paksha other paksha is will remain one it will not duplicate so in one option it will double in another option it will not double and when does when is it when ach does not follow so anachi anachi is when ach does not follow ach nasti atra ach nasti that is the idea so these are the three components in the sandhi here you have a sandhi situation and what kind of sandhi situation yar yar is following ach and the sandhi is between yar and ach it is an ach sandhi so what happens is that yar yar will become two when when ach does not follow a yar which is preceded by ach so the sandhi is between ach and yar but yar can become two or may not become two it can optionally become two when there is no ach following and in this situation that we are dealing with sujupasya what is the situation here we have we have sud we have sud here sud ya so you have yakara and you have u u following but u is an ach here u is an ach here so yakara although yakara is a yar it it cannot duplicate by the sutra anachicha but dhakara and yakara you see su there is sakara sudyupasi has su then you have dha then you have ya sudhi upasya upasya in this situation what has happened is that sakara ukara su is sakara ukara so you have a sandhi situation where ukara dhakara yakara in this ukara is a ach ach is there so that condition is satisfied yar whether dha is yar how do you know however at so in the beginning itself however at ya except for hakara you drop hakara ya var la and you keep on counting however at lan nyamagananam jhabanj ghadha dash so ghadha dash jab ghadha dash khapa chata ta chata to kapai shasa sar till then so dash jhabanj ghadha dash so that dha is a part of yar thereby you have yar that situation is also satisfied what about ach ach nasti anachi anachi when anach follows anach is what yakara is anach yakara is not anach therefore anach follows that that is also third condition which is satisfied and thereby what should happen optionally is yar should duplicate and yar is dha so this dhakara duplicates you get you get what sudj this dhakara will become two dha 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 you will get dha dha so sudh what will happen you will get sudh sudhya sudhyupasya this is what you will get by this anachicha sutra this is our siddhi here of sudhyupasya from anachicha now 
Why anachi is being said? So here we look at there are two types of pratishedas. Pratishedha, pratishedha, an anachi cha. Nanj is a pratishedha. Nanj is saying there is a nisheda of something. What is that nisheda, pratishedha? Prasajya pratishedha and paryudasa pratishedha. There are two types of pratishedhas used in Vyakrana. This is Vyakrana Shastra specific. So there is a, uh, a shloka which says, a part of that says, prasajya pratishedha ha nisheda krut. Nisheda krut. While paryudasa pratishedha is what? Sadrugrahi. Sadrugrahi. So one is nisheda krut. Nisheda krut means what? Nishedam karoti iti nisheda krut. It makes a nisheda. It says you do not, it is, it is negating something. Pratishedha, prasajya pratishedha is negating something. Anachicha. In the example, anachicha, na ach anach. It is negating ach. That's all it is doing. It is not giving a vidhi, you do this, you do that. It is negating. It says that there should not be an ach following. That is the pratishedha. Therefore, pratishedhe pradhanya maski. It is negating anachicha when anach does not follow. That's all it is saying. Pratishedha is being done. Ach should not follow. That is the rule. Anachicha. Ach should not follow. That's all. So pratishedha pradhanyam. Videhe apradhanyam. There is no vidhi being said as vidhi is not pradhana there. Vidhi is not pradhana means what? Although anachicha is giving a vidhi, still it is that nanj is not to the vidhi. Vidhi pradhana, nanj is not negating a kriya. Vidhi is indicated by a kriyapada. Kriyapada or a kriyapada equivalent. And here what is being said, anachicha, anachicha achaha parasya yaro, yaraha dve vasya. So yaraha is shashti ek vachana. Achaha parasya. So after an acha, ach, shashti, panchami ek vachana. Achaha parasya. After an ach, a yar which is there after a yach, dve. So dve vasta, dve, dve vasta, uh, this is dve vachana. So dve vachana. Vastha, optionally, optionally they will become, they will become two. Here we will be, although the Vidhi is saying they will become two, but the, the An, which is Nanj, that is not going with Staha. Nastha it is not saying. So Videhe Apradhanyam, it is not saying Dve Nastha. It is saying what? That, that Anachi Cha, the Nanj in Anachi. So Anachi Cha, Anachi Cha, uh, blah 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 dve vas taha this taha has no anvaya with nanj here this nanj na ach na achi so anachi is what anachi is na ach tasmin this na ach this nakara does not go with taha na taha is not being said what is being said anach na ach Na ach, so nakara has an anvaya, this na, nanj has an anvaya with ach, uttarapada. With an uttarapada, it has an anvaya, that time it is prasajya pratishedaha, and when you have an anvaya with staha, let's say you had an anvaya with this na staha, then vidhi, nakara will go to the vidhi. So vidhi pradhanyam it will be, and pratishede apradhanyam. So prasajya pratishedaha is what vidhe apradhanyam, and pratishede pradhanyam, uttarapada na nanj bhavati. Nanj, where the nanj applies to ach, anachi, cha. So nanj, which becomes ana, that an, an applies to, nanj applies to ach, uttarapadena saha anvaya bhavati, anachi, cha. However, not with the verb, not with the verb, staha, so staha, here there is no vidhi pradhanyam, there is pratishede pradhanyam. Another, where is the verb you see, na kuriyat nishphalam karma. Nishparam karma na kuriyat, here what is being said? Pratishede pradhanyam, although the unveil with the, here see, na kuriyat, do not do. Karma, which is nishphala, nishphalam karma na kuriyat, although the nakara is going with the vidhi, uh, uh, with the verb, sorry, not vidhi, with the verb, still what is being said, do not do. Do not do means what? It is not a vidhi, it is nisheda. Nishphalam karma, do not do a purposeless thing, do not do a fruitless activity. So there you are not saying you do something. Vidhi is not being a pradhanyam is not with the vidhi. There is nishedha is the pradhanyam. Nishparam karma na kuriya. What should I do? You ask what should I do? That is not the role of the uh, dharma shastra there. Dharma shastra is saying there na kuriya nishparam karma if there is a dharma vidhi. There is a vidhi. Uh, nishedha is also vidhi in the, it's an injunction. 
but injunction it is not saying what to do it is telling you what you should not do you cannot ask there then what should i do that is not the role of the sutra there or dharma shastra there the sutra is limited to a particular vidhi or nisheda and where nisheda pradhanyam is there that is called as prasajya pratisheda and when there is a vidhi pradhanyam that time sadrugrahi something similar it is that vidhi is being talked about there we we'll see an example so anachicha is a prasajya pratisheda so nanj is what it is saying anach it is not saying what should follow it is saying at should not follow that is all it saying so it is not saying hal should follow or this should follow that should follow no at should not follow that is all the meaning is so we should ask whenever we see is anachicha applicable we should see is at there in panchami so panchami meaning at is the preceding letter yar is there which is following yes acha acha parasya yara what should happen dve vasya so yar can optionally become double then anachicha has been said so what is the meaning whether ach is there or not there that's all we should ask what is following ach should not follow that's all whether hal follows avasana we do not care ach is not following answer is yes ach is not following then apply the sutra that's it in paryudasa pratisheda sadrugrahi sadrugrahi means grahi it is grahi it uh, uh, sadrugrahi it it grasps it grasps something similar so vidhi pradhanyam is there so videhe pradhanyam asti pratishede apradhanyam in pratisheda there is no primary purpose of the sutra the primary purpose of the sutra is to give a ordainment a rule this is what you do so kriyaya sah nanj so kriyaya sah nanj bhavati nanj is not with the uttara pada nanj is with the kriya how for example abrahmanam anaya so anaya bring vidhi is being given you bring what abrahmanam so abrahmanam abrahmanam anaya there kriya sa nanj here although abrahmanam is not saying bring uh, is not saying do not bring a brahmana abrahmanam anaya is not do not bring brahmana that would have been prasajya pratisheda if i interpret this do not bring a brahmana that is not what is being said so here it is being said brahmana anaya ane vidhi pradhanyam is there you bring someone who if you don't get a brahmana so for something brahmanas are needed option a brahmana is not available you bring a kshatriya so sadrugrahi sadrugrahi somebody like brahmana you cannot say a brahmana ane means don't bring a brahmana uh, that's the nisheda you don't bring anyone that's is not the meaning anaya ane means you bring someone if you don't find a brahmana bring a, bring a kshatriya but bring someone that is the vidhi there it does not mean do not bring anyone or it also does not mean so one one abrahmana anaya is telling you bring someone so vidhi pradhanyam is there it is not saying do not bring anyone so nisheda pradhanyam is not there second it is saying sadrugrahi someone like a brahmana you cannot say that i, I found a cow i'll bring a cow cow is not a brahmana you say i'll bring a cow or a dog or whatever a sheep no sadrugrahi somebody like a brahmana meaning somebody who is not a brahmana but like a brahmana means someone who is a human being and closer to varna there you bring that kind of a person so there the vidhi pradhana is there and that is pari pariyudasa pratisheda in vyakarana this is seen so every time you see nanj what kind of a uh, pratisheda is being done is it pariyudasa or prasajya we have to enquire and this is done in tika generally it it becomes too complicated otherwise as to Uh, in sampradaya what is the meaning of the sutra whether it is prasajya pratisheda or paryudasa pratisheda and in anachicha it is uh, pratisheda pradhanyam is there therefore anachicha means when ach does not follow that's all it is being said so what we got here is sudhi upasya iti sthite you got suddhya upasya and then suddhya vidhakara became double you got suddhya upasya so we have reached here suddhya upasya in the derivation next sutra says झलाम झश जशी झलाम झश झलाम जश जशी सो झल झल यू हैव झल वन प्रत्यारा यू हैव जश अनदर प्रत्यारा एंड यू हैव झश थर्ड प्रत्यारा देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट प्रत्यारा बीइंग टॉक्ड हियर टॉक्ड अबाउट हियर 
which are these jhala sush shashti bahuvachana jhalam jash jash is the adesha prathama sthani is what jhalam 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 in the place of jhal jash is the adesha when when jashi parata when a jash jash follows so what is jhal what is jash what is jash so jash jash is what jabagada dash first let's look at uh, adesha adesha is jash jash is what jabagada dash the sutra jabagada dash applies jabagada dash is what where do you get j ch ch j b where do you get uh, p ph b so you see third of the class this is the varga varga tritiya tritiya is the adesha varga tritiya varga nam tritiya jash jabagada dash b jakara bakara gakara dakara and dakara all are what jabagada dash d all are third of the class any class ka varga pa varga cha varga ta varga on any of this class ta varga you have varga tritiya combined together in one pratyahara called jash so third of the class is the adesha for what for jhal what is jhal jhal starts with jhabanj jhabanj ghada dash and then jabagada dash so jhal starting from jhabanj that sutra till what hal last sutra is hal so uh, before this you get what a even relook a o i u ch hay var rat lan nyamagananam so nyamagananam is the fifth of the class nyamagananam fifth of the class jhabanj is the fourth jhabanj ghada dash are the two sutras giving the fourth of the class so starting with the fourth of the class varga चतुर्थ चतुर्थ वर्ग चतुर्थ वर्ण फ्रॉम देअर यू स्टार्ट विथ वॉट स्टार्ट विथ वर्ग चतुर्थ देन जबगढ़ दश इंक्लूड इंक्लूडेड देअर सो जबगढ़ दश झबई घड़ा दश जबगढ़ दश खप छट छट तो कपई शस सर हल सो ऑल दी सो फोर्थ ऑफ दी क्लास ऑनवर्ड्स ऑनवर्ड्स वॉट एवर यू गेट टिल हल सो ऑल ऑल दी फोर्थ ऑफ द क्लास onwards downwards and then uh, the uh, the uh, semi vowels are not included vowels are not included fifth of the class is not included so any consonant starting from the fourth of the class and it will include sibilants also shasasar hal till then all of the letters are included in the sthani so in the place of this jhal sthani what will happen just it will take the third of the class adesha so fourth of the class third of the class second of the class first of the class kapai shasasar and shakara shakara sakara murdhanya shakara dantya shakara and talavya shakara all of these will take what the third of the class adesha and you have to understand which is the adesha which is the closest in sthana and prayatna that is the adesha for vargas there is no problem varga shashasa we have to look at but for vargas any varga letter you see there you replace by the third of the class so let's say you see pakara there let's say pakara pakara will get the jash adesha means what pa 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 kha ba so pakara will be the adesha and so on and so forth in the example we'll see and then jashi jash should when jash follows jash is what fourth of the class and third of the class so fourth of the class or third of the class and i'll say fourth of the class and third of the class fourth and third of the class when fourth and the third of the class follows uh, the adesha is first of the class as uh, third of the class for which letter for fourth third second first of the class and shasasa for this the adesha is third of the class So in our, so he says, "Pastam no vritti is in pastam iti purva dhakarasya dhakara." I think in the earlier vritti I left this iti. Here you see iti dhakare na. In earlier vritti it is iti dhakarasya dvitve na. Dhakara has become dvitva. Dvitve na through the doubling of the dhakara with anachi sutra sudhyu pasya iti jate. So sudhyu we have landed on sudhyu pasya. Why? Because dhakara has doubled here due to anachi cha. Now, Sudhu Pasya iti jate. What happens here? Here you have. He says it's pastam. It is clear. What is clear here? Sudhu Pasya iti jate. 
शुद्ध्य 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 उपास्य इति जाते इन दिस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर नाउ दिस सु इज देयर धकार धकार एंड यकार इज देयर व्हाट इज ही सेइंग इति पूर्व धकारस्य धकारः व्हाय धकारः धकार इज जश जबगड दश जबगड द सो जबगड द अमंग देम जबगड द व्हिच इज द थर्ड ऑफ द क्लास फॉर धकारा व्हाय धकारा बिकॉज धकारा इज अ जल धकारा इज अ जल बोथ धकारा आर जल बट व्हाट इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट हियर सकारा हियर इट इज योर सकारा उकारा धकारा अनदर धकारा यकारा देन व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड हियर इज दैट इन दिस सिचुएशन जश दिस इज झल दिस इज झल दिस इज अ दिस इज एन दिस इज एन अच सकारा वी डोंट केयर अबाउट सकारा फॉलोड बाय उकारा देयर इज नो संधि फॉर इन आवर सिचुएशन हियर व्हिच इज द संधि बीइंग टॉक्ड दिस धकारा व्हिच इज अ झल एंड दिस धकारा व्हिच इज व्हिच इज व्हाट व्हिच इज जश व्हिच इज जश बिकॉज़ धकारा इज व्हाट झबंज घड़ा घड़ा धश सो धकारा इज फिफ्थ ऑफ द क्लास दिस धकारा इज फिफ्थ ऑफ द क्लास देयरफॉर इट इज झल this dhakara is same fifth of the class therefore it is jash and when in this situation what will happen when this is the sandhi then purva dhakarasya this jhal jhal jhalam jash jash is the adesha dhakara which is the fourth of the class is replaced by the third of the class so you will get sakara ukara dhakara dhakara and then yakara this is the sandhi here so you will get what शुद्ध शुद्ध्य उपास्य दिस इज दि संधि रिजल्ट रिजल्ट ऑफ दि संधि यू विल गेट दिस ऑल दो यू सी इन संस्कृत वेन यू टाइप इट इट एक्सचेंज इज बिकॉज दिस धकारा ऑल दो धकारा इज लेटर स्टिल दैट गोज एंड सिट्स बिलो दि धकारा बट इट इज लेटर शुद्ध झुपास्य शुद्ध झुपास्य यू गेट धकारा इवन इन बुद्धि यू सी बुद्धि in buddhi also same reason buddh see buddh buddh it will become buddh see buddh and dha buddhi see in this situation also you have what this dhakara and this dhakara this dhakara becomes dhakara it becomes just and then when it join together it will go and sit below the dhakara although it is later so you get buddhi that's how you get buddhi as well so sudhya pasya i am just talking about the uh, jash what is that jash adesha sutras may be different but i am saying that's how the uh, jasto this is called jasto this jasto third of the class adesha this is also called as jasto 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 has happened and you have got sudhyupasya next sutra which is applicable here is sanyogantasya lopaha sanyogantasya lopaha सूत्र से संयोगांत से लोप होती लोप वॉट इज लोप अदर्शन लोप वॉट इज एक्सिस्टंट एंड बिकम्स डिसेपियर्स इट डिसेपियर्स इन प्रोनाउंसिएशन इट इज नॉट हर्ड न श्रूयते दैट इज लोप अदर्शन लोप अदर्शन इज नॉट नॉट सीइंग नॉट सीइंग इज नॉट कॉग्नाइजिंग नॉट हियरिंग इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड देर सो न श्रूयते लोप अदर्शन लोप इज अश्रवण लोप what is not heard because it is not uttered why is it not uttered because uh, the adesha is lopaha sanyogantasya lopaha bhavati sanyogantasya sanyoganta is what sanyoga antasya is a samasa antasya antasya what is at the end sanyogantasya lopaha lopa is the adesha for what antasya sanyogantasya संयोगांतम यत पदम तदंतस्य लोपस्य दिस इज ऑल्सो इन दी एट चैप्टर सेकेंड पाद ट्वेंटी थर्ड सूत्र देर इज अदंतवि तदंतवि विषय तस्वीन निर्दिष्ट पूर्व से तस्मा उत्तर से बट उत्तर से पूर्व से वेन इट इज सेड वी डू नॉट नो वॉट शुड बी रिप्लेस्ड इफ उत्तर से मीन्स दी लेटर वन should i replace the entire word if it is said purvasya then should i replace the entire earlier word so should the entire earlier word be replaced or entire later word be replaced there is something called as tadanta vidhi tadanta vidhi means what 
वॉट एवर इज ऑर्डेड अंत से भवती एट दी लास्ट इट इज इट इज टू दी लास्ट लेटर सो पूर्व से आदेश मीन वॉट टू दी अर्लियर अर्लियर वर्ड नॉट अर्लियर वर्ड दी अर्लियर दी लास्ट लेटर ऑफ दी अर्लियर वर्ड सो तदंत से पूर्व से मीन पूर्व पूर्व से पद से अंत अंत से अंत At the end of the whatever is at the end, it, the the general rule says that the whatever is ordained will be to the anta of the sthani, sthani antasya. So if you say purvasya adesha, then purvasya shabdasya na adesha, adesha purvasya padasya antasya. So at the end whatever is there that that will take the adesha. So here you see sanyoga antasya lopa. संयोगांत पद पदम संयोगांत पदम यदम संयोगांत दैट वर्ड विच इज संयोगांत एंडिंग स संयोग अंत दिस इज वॉट संयोग संयोग बहुरी संयोग अंत यसे तत् सो पदम पदम इज बीन टॉक्ट अबउट सो अंत पद से तत्पदम तत्पदम संयोगांत पदम सो हियर इट इज संयोगांत एंड देन संयोगांत पद से तस्य पद से तस्य तस्य संयोगांत पद से सो दैट इज बीइंग सेड हियर संयोगांत पदम दैट पद विच एंड्स इन द संयोग संयोगांत मींस व्हाट दैट पद दैट वर्ड विच एंड्स इन द संयोग दैट वर्ड तदंत से लोप सो तदंत से अंत से लोप सदंत से तस्य अंत दी लोप इज फॉर दी एंडिंग ऑफ दैट मीन्स इफ यू से संयोग एंड इन इन अवर एग्जाम्पल वॉट वॉट आर वी लुकिंग एट वी आर लुकिंग एट शुद्ध शुद्ध उपास्य इन दिस दिस शुद्ध दिस पद इन दैट वॉट यू हैव सु एंड यॉट इज संयोग हियर सॉरी शुद्ध शुद्ध एंड यू सी वी आर लुकिंग एट दिस वॉट इज संयोग नाउ दिस एंटायर थिंग इज संयोग संयोग विच इज वॉट इज संयोग यू सीन इन दियर सूत्र वॉट इज दैट संयोग सी हलो नंतरा संयोग संयोग इज संज्ञा गिवन टू अनंतरा हल अनंतरा हल संयोग संज्ञा स्यु सो वॉट इज दिस संज्ञा संयोग फॉर इन एंड वी हेव सीन दि एक्सापल इन कृष्णम इन कृष्णम दि संयोग इज फॉर वॉट तकारा सकारा नकारा और इन कार्यम तकार सकारा नकारा रेफा तकारा सकारा नकारा यकारा सो दिस एंटायर कॉन्जंक्ट the assemblage of all the consonants put together get the sanyoga sanya so sanyoga is not for one letter or uh, another letter or both letters separately it is a sanyoga sanya is together it is for the sudhya in sudhya dakara dakara yakara entire thing will be called as sanyoga and sanyoga is at the end of this pada pada is what sudhya Why is Sudhya Pada Suptin Antam Padam? We had seen Suptin Antam Padam. Is this ending with super thing? It is not. In our understanding, it is not because Sudhya Pasya entire thing is Pada, and then it will be declined as Sudhya Pasya. However, when we form this Samasa, we said what Sudhya Upasya Ha Yaha. Whoever that is, Ishwara. Let's say Ishwara Ha, Ishwara Ha, Saha. यूल गेट फाइनली लेट से सुध्युपास्युपास्य सो सुध्युपास्य दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू लैंड ऑन दिस इज अमास नाउ दिस इज डिक्लाइंड सुध्युपास्य इज अ प्रातिपदिक विच इज डिक्लाइंड एज बिकॉज इन सामनाधिकरण विथ ईश्वर विथ पुलिंग सुधुपास्य दिस इज अ पदम आई अग्री हाउ अबउट दिस फेलो हियर इज दिस अ पदम Yes, it is a padam because sudhya upasya when they come together, what will happen? I'm jumping ahead, but I'm just telling you how is this called as pada? How is this yat padam sanyogantam yat padam? 
how did this suddhya become padam it also became a padam by suktim antam padam by suktim antam padam suddhya suddhya is what tritiya ek vachana upasya is prathama ek vachana thereby this in the suddhya upasya in the suddhya upasya when we are dealing with this suddhya is a padam upasya is a padam suddhya is a tritiya anta padam upasya is a prathama anta padam thereby suddhya and upasya both are padam and how are they combined in a samasa is sudhi sudhi is the pratipadika and uh, uh, i'm jumping ahead but there is a pratyek called ta so just amout such ta bhyam this ta is a tritiya supratya it is a tritiya vibhakti ekvachana pratya and then you are adding what upasya upasya is a pratipadika which has taken the prathama prathama ekvachana su supratya so sudhi plus ta plus upasya plus su su this is a padam this is a padam it is a samasa and it is not a padam it is a pratipadika and this pratipadika is finally going to be sudhyupasya which will decline as a padam but our concern is how is this sudhi a padam sudhya is a padam tritiyanta padam suptingantam padam we have seen how is sudhi a padam do sudhi plus ta sudhya is what sudhi plus ta so sudhi plus ta is a padam all right but how is sudhi a padam this is the question and there what they said is this entire thing is called as pratipadika is equal to pratipadikam there is a sutra which says krut 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 taddhita taddhita samasascha samasascha pratipadikam pratipadikam सूत्र इज ओनली कृत समाश्च प्रातिपदेक अनुवृत्ति सो बाय दिस सूत्र कृदंत तद्धित अंत और समास सो कृदंत एंड तद्धित तद्धित अंत एंड समास विल गेट अ संज्ञा व्हाट संज्ञा विल इट गेट प्रातिपदिक एंड प्रातिपदिक इज अ नॉमिनल बेस व्हिच कैन बी डिक्लाइन सो सुध्युपास्य सुधी प्लस टा प्लस उपास्य plus su is a samasa and therefore it gets a sanya as pratipadika then inside a pratipadika whatever supratyas are there this pratya and this pratya supratyas those supratyas are are uh, looked they they are dropped they are elided and thereby you get what sudhi sudhi upasya you get sudhi upasya why because ta and uh so these are dropped in pratipadika there is something called supluk uh, I, i get tempted to go through all sutras we'll get to the sutras later so just see that there is a supluk here any anything that is a pratipadika any pratipadika has a cannot have sup inside sup has to be dropped because sup thing antam padam and in pratipadika sup cannot be there unless there are some alok also but then uh a general rule is that the sup is dropped thereby sudhi upasya you got now you have combined sudhya upasya and now you have got sudhi upasya but pratyay lope this pratya has uh, has taken a lopa adesha lopa or look it has been elided Pra- there is another paribhashika sutra which is pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam so by pratyay lope pratyay lope when there is a sati pratyay lope sati pratyay lakshanam i am just mentioning it to explain as to how did we say that sudhi is a pada the vritti sai saying sanyogantam yat padam where is the padam in this sanyogantam is sudhya i understand that sanyoga ante yasya sanyoga is what dakara dhakara yakara are in close proximity and that is a conjunct that is called as sanyoga so this is sanyoga and sanyoga is the end at of which entity that much i understand sudhya is a sanyogantam i understand sanyoganta it is ending with a sanyoga that much is clear how can you see a padam suptim antam padam there is no suptim here sup is not there thing is not there there is sup here but sup is not there in this sudhi so there it is said pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam when pratyaya is dropped pratyaya when pratyaya lope sati when pratyasya lope sati pratyaya lakshanam bhavati there is a lakshana of pratyaya the uh, there are exceptions to this also but then there is a 
there is a general rule that when a pratyaya is dropped, this pratyaya is what? Ta pratyaya is dropped. Since so pratyaya lope sati, sudhi is still, pratyaya lakshanam is there. So pratyaya is invisible, it is dropped, but it is still there for its sanya. Sanya is pada, sudhi plus ta is a pada, so is sudhi a pada. Because after dropping pratyaya also, pratyaya lakshana is there. And by lakshana, pratyaya lakshana, sudhi is still a pada. And sudhi is also pada, so also upasya is a pada. But here in our example, we are interested in Sudhi Upasya. Sudhi is a pada and Sudhi itself has become what? Sudhya. Sudhya Upasya. And although it has changed as, it has changed, this fellow is still Sudhya Upasya. This fellow is still a padam. It is still a padam. And therefore, Sanyogante. Sanyogantam padam. Yat padam. And how it is explained is that there is a person. So this Sudhi, you now Sudhi, Sudhi is a pada alright, because Sudhi plus ta is a pada, Sudhi is also pada, but what about this Sudhya, how is Sudhya pada? So here it is said just like uh, when a person steps out of the house, he wears a hat, let's say, he wears a hat or he wears a, uh, wears an Angavastra on his, uh, uh, wears a Angavastra to keep his head warm or to protect himself, but it's the same person. Similarly, Sudhi Although some changes have happened, still it is same Sudhi only. It has gone, undergone some Sandhi Karya. Although it has worn another hat, worn, but still it is the same person. Therefore, Sudhi is still a Sudhi is also a Padam and Sudhya is also a Padam. So, therefore, this is a Padam and it has Sanyoga in its end. Thereby, it is a Sanyogantam Padam. And Sanyogantasya Kim Bhavati? Sanyogantasya Padasya Antasya Lopahasya. So, tadantasya lopasya, so tasya, antyasya, this yakara is at the end. So, yakara should undergo lopa, this is the idea here. Sudhyupasya, and thereby it says what? Sanyogantasya padam, tadantasya lopasya, so now we are supposed to make yakara lopa. Which yakara? This yakara, which is at the end of the sanyoga of a pada, of that pada, tasya, uh, Lopasya. And where should it apply? Alontasya. There is another sutra which follows, which says that Vidhi, how did you get Tadantasya? How did you, in the Vritti, the question is, I have explained it, but that I had Tadantasya. Where did this Tadantasya come from? Padam, Padam I explained by Pratyay Lopa, Pratyay Lakshana, Pada is still there. But what about this Tadantasya? In the Vritti, Tad antasya lopasyat, how did you get? Sanyoga antasya lopasyat, sanyoga antasya, uh, but padantasya, tadantasya, padantasya is what? Yat padam, tadantasya is what? Padantasya. How did you get padantasya? There is a, in this, there is a padasya, there is a anurutya of padasya here. here. There is an anurutti here. If you look up the sutra, you will see, there is a padasya anurutti here. Padasya. And what this Tadantasya is equal to Padantasya Lopasya. Tadantasya is equal to Padasya Antasya. Tat is this Padam. Yat Padam, Tat Padam. Tasya Antasya. So how did you get that? For that, the Lagukara introduces another sutra. He says, Alontasya is a sutra which says, Alaha. Alaha Antyasya. Alontyasya. Alontyasya, Alaha, Antyasya. What is being said is, Shashti Nirdishtantasya Alaha Adeshasya. Alaha Adeshasya. Alaha is Shashti Ekvachana. Adesha is for what? Lopaha is the Adesha here. Sanyogantasya Lopaha, Kasya Lopaha, Sanyogantasya Lopaha. So, Antyasya Sanyogantasya, here Sanyogantasya Lopa is Sanyogantasya Padasya Lopa. So Sanyogantasya Padasya Lopa is this entire word should be taken away, Lopa, because Sanyoganta is this Pada. And Tasya Lopa is Sanyogantasya Lopa. So Sudhi, Sudhya is a, a Sanyoganta Pada. And Tasya Lopa would mean what? Padasya Lopa. So Padasya Lopa would mean what? Sudhya Upasya Lopa. Upasya. No, no, don't do that. He says, alone Tasya says what? Shashti Nirdishtantasya, Shashti Nirdishte Antasya, Alaha Adeshasya. Only Al is what? 
Ach plus hal is al. Al means any letter. A single letter, not the entire word, only the antya. Ante bhava antya. Ante bhava antya. Or ante, ante bhava antya. Okay. Ante bhava antya. That which is in the end is called a antya. And antyasya alaha. Antyasya alaha. Shashti ek vachana. Antyasya. That letter. Alaha which is at the end. So antyasya. That which is existent in the end. What is existent in the end? Al. A letter. So padasya lopaha na. Padantasya lopaha. Antyasya alaha. Padasya antyasya yaha al vartate. Tasya alaha lopasya. So the alaha lopasya. Al is the sthani. Not the pada. The entire pada should not undergo lopa. Alaha. Adesha syadya. Any adesha. That which is ordained for a shashti nirdishta pada, tasya antyasya bhavati. So, iti yellow pe prapte. Yellow pe prapte kasmas karanat. For what reason did you get yellow pa prapta? Because sanyogantasya lopa ha, iti yellow pe prapte. Not pada pada lopa prapta. Yellow pa is prapta. How is yellow pa prapta? By alon tasya vidhi. The adesha which is given to the shashti. It is not applicable to the entire word which is in Shashti, but only to the ending letter of the Shashti. Whether you identify the Sthani by Panchami Nirudeshta or Saptami Nirudeshta or Shashti as it is existing. So here you saw uh, Tasminiti Nirudeshta Purvasya. Purvasya Adesha Bhavati. So Purvasya, that Purva letter is a Sthani. Then we saw Tasmariti Nirudeshta, uh, Tasmariti Uttarasya. The Uttara is a Sthani. Uttara Pada is the Sthani, Puro Pada is the Sthani, but when the Adesha is given is not to the entire Pada, whether it is preceding or uh, following, it is a word which is the Sthani, however the, the Adesha is only for Alaha, is for, only for an Al, Andhya Al, it is only for the last Al and there by the last letter which is Yakara in this Sanyoganta, Sanyoganta Silopa is Sanyogantyasya alaha lopaha and that al is what? Yakara. That letter Yakara which is at the end of a Sanyoganta pada sudhya that Yakara lopa prapte that is being said here iti yalope prapte sati when Yakara lopa is yalope in a uh, here is ya is Yakara. Yakara lopa prapte sati in sudhya yanaha pratishedo vachyaha so yanaha pratishedo vachyaha vartika Yakara would have gone here. It would have gone by the sutra. So iti prapte means you do not apply. It is prapta, but you see there Vartika says do not do it. When should you not do it? Yanaha pratishedo vachya. This yan, the yakara of the yan, this yan is which yan? In our example, sudjupasya, this yakara is a yan. This yakara is a yan, sudjupasya. Yakara is a yan. It is not any other yakara. It is a yan yakara. That which has come from yan adesha. And here it is said yanaha. Yanaha pratishedo vachyaha. Pratishedaha vachyaha should have been said. Panini Maharshi should have said accept pratishedaha. He should have negated. Do not do yakara lopa when it is a yan. Yakara as in not yakara. Any, any Sanyoganta, which is a yan letter, yakara, vakara, repha, lakara, you should not drop that. There is an exception to this Sanyoganta silopaha, alontasya. This is for what? This yanaha pratisheda vachya is a vartika, although it is mentioned in alontasya, alontasya is a general rule, not only for lopaha. Any adesha which is given, it is for the ending letter. That's all it is saying. But this Yanaha Pratisheda Vacha is Laghukara who is saying in our Sutra Sanyogantasya Lopaha, there it should be. He should have said Sanyogantasya Lopaha except for Yan. If the Yan is the last letter, then you do not do Lopa. There, therefore, Yalopa Prapte Sati, even if Yalopa is Prapta of Sudhyupas Yakara should be un undergoing a Lopa by Sanyogantasya Lopaha, still he says, Yanaha Pratisheda Vacha, Yanaha Lopaha Pratishid Jate. Asmin Vartike, 
यण लोप प्रतिषिज्य वेन् संयोगा लोप इति सूत्रेण यकार लोप प्राप्त सती यण प्रतिषेध प्रतिषेध वाच्य दैट टाइम वॉट शुड हैव बीन सेट इट शुड बी अंडरस्टूड दैट यकार विच इज अंड लेटर विच इज एट दि एंड ऑफ अ संयोग एट दि एंड ऑफ अ संयोगा पद it it should not undergo lopa therefore although yakara should be dropped by sanyoga antasya lopa since it is the last letter of a sanyoga which sanyoga that sanyoga which is at the end of a pada still it should not undergo lopa because vartika kara says what yana pratisheda vachya should have been said in the sutra it does not cover it i am extending it you do not drop the yakara otherwise you will get what this yakara will go you will get शुद्धुपास्य यू नॉट गेट यू शुड नॉट गेट शुद्धुपास्य यू शुड गेट शुद्धुपास्य बिकॉज यंड इज एन आदेश विच एज कम अदरवाइज वाई वुड ही राइट अ सूत्र फॉर यंड एज एन आदेश एंड देन ड्रॉप दंड सो इट्स अ लॉन्ग राउंड अबाउट वे एंड देर बाय इफ ही मेंट यलो पा ही वुड नॉट हैव गिवन दिस सूत्र इको यण ची एंड सिंस इको यण ची हैज बीन सेड यण आदेश हैज बीन गिवन and in sanyoga also it applies therefore in sanyoga antasya lopa although it is prapta you should not do yan lopa yan yan letter should not undergo lopa so that is the idea here sudjupasya uh, i think yeah. so other examples given here same madhvari madhvari so madhu and ari so this is these are examples for uh, eco yanchi uh, so eco yanchi here you see yakara adesha i'll do this in the next class here you see yakara is an adesha by yan and here you see madhu ari will become madhvari vakara is the adesha which is yav r then r dhatraunsha you see refa is an adesha and yav r l here you see uh, dhatraunsha and lakruti you will see Uh, lakara is an adesha we'll see more of this in the next part of tomorrow i'll explain this and uh, sanyoga antasya lopa also i'll explain because see in lagu prakriya here he'll use only that example which will fit the fit the fit his example he is deriving sujupasya he is telling you see he has covered this sutra sanyoga antasya lopa however he is not uh, covered uh, an example where sanyogantasya lopa is applicable it is not covered that example at all he is saying here it is negated so sanyogantasya lopa iti prapte yan pratishedo vachya so he is he is example in his example sudyupasya yan pratishedo vachya so this sudyupasya is an example for the vartika not for the sanyogantasya lopa really it is a sanyogantasya lopa not being applicable but he will consider that this sutra is covered completely covered he will not touch this sutra example again but if you look at kashika if you look at kashika sanyog his what is his example let me look up sanyogantasya so if kashika's example okay uh, i have to look at the derivation and see which pada he is deri deriving Uh, here na tu tadaro kiti tasya vadakam bhavati okay i'll cover this tomorrow i'll cover the example and tell you uh, how sanyoga antas silopa applies in which all situation we'll take the kashika example for uh, this sutra sanyoga antas silopa and we'll see one example for sanyoga antas silopa because this sutra is considered as covered in lagu however he is not done an example so i'll derive that example also tomorrow and we'll see that example and then we'll look at the uh, we'll continue with this uh, uh, these four example or i'll cover these four examples and come to sanyoga anta silopa i'll give you one example there okay vritta vasane nataraj rajo nana dadakkan nava panchavaram uddhartu kamas sanaka disiddhane tad vimarshe shiva sutra jalam So 